Hello guys and welcome back to Tectonica. Now things might look a little bit backwards here for us because if you remember in our last episode we actually got through all of this and we're doing the uh, tutorial all over again. Now I do hope to just jump through all of this as quickly as possible because uh, I, I kind of left my save game in the UK and well, we're in uh, Mexico. So, first thing that I'm going to be doing is getting all the way to where we were in the last episode as quickly as possible. The great thing is that because we've already done all of this, I can skip through it pretty quickly. As you can see, we have already got two of our miners down. There's actually one over there. We're just getting all of those resources so that we can get through all of this as quickly as possible until we're onto the smelting and uh, filling up that machine with all that ore. We're going to just get all of the, uh, the plant matter from around here so that we can fuel any of our future machines without having to go out and search for them. And here we are with the first of our terminal things uh, to be done. Let's just send that off and grab this analyzer. And we're going to just analyze loads of stuff and then we'll come back and get everything built. Obviously the next big thing for us to do is to find all of the mole pieces. Now I know that there is one lying about over here. And there's also one both above the starting position. Let's grab these as well as one or maybe two pieces inside the secret, uh, I say secret, the little bunker that's not too far from here. Ah uh, yes, we need to unlock and upgrade it with the iron ingots and copper ingots before we can access there. So we'll very quickly set up our smelting array. I want this to be really basic to be honest, just so that we can get it on the way as soon as possible. The first of our automation is underway. We have about 200 iron already in the, um, I want to say the space elevator. It's not the terminal, that's what it is. And we also have about 60 copper. So I need to extend this a little bit more. As you can see, we've filled up our copper. We're actually working on getting a load of iron in here and copper in there so that we have a, a little back supply as this is already done. So we're going to upgrade this. And now that this is maximized, we can go over to the place over here and unlock that mole, um, mole accessory, mole, I don't know, let's have a look, have a look what it's called. That's the one, mole terrain manipulator. As you can see, we have unlocked the mole generator and we also have the echo sketch. You can see it in the top left, uh, top right hand corner even. Um, we're actually gonna go over to that now and let's have a quick look. We need to head straight on and up. So we need to head in this direction. Right in front of us, you can see that there is a, another tunnel just a little bit out of the way. So we're going to mine through there. And we have now made it up to the lake. So we're going to remove all of these and then get started on, oh, what is it we need in here? It's a lot if I remember rightly. 70 smelters, no, 70 mining drills, 70 smelters, uh, 2000 conveyor belts, and then the 1000 inserters and 1000 processor units. But in order for us to get on with all of that, we're going to need to unlock these assemblers but also the planters as well, which we've been already researched. But these are going to allow us to grow and harvest this kindle vine. Uh, but we're going to need a thresher to separate them from the seeds, I believe. Here, it looks like we have our hover pack. Sweet. So we wait, can we? We can research that now, right? Where are you? Where would you be? Transportation? Yes. Oh, and we have enough available. So we can build this now, I think. Okay. Not going to complain at that. And we've also unlocked the large balloon lights. I think we've explored everything there is to explore around here that's not in the... Like, if we go over here, 
There is another area. Well, there's quite a few areas, actually. But everything that's available to us right now, we have uh, looked through. Uh, except for maybe... Hmm. Maybe not behind here. But that's all fine. So what we're going to do now is start terraforming this area. I'm going to build into this area to create the... Uh, foundations that we're we're going to build our factory upon. I quite like being able to see the river, so that's why we're doing that. So this is what we're going to be working with to start off with. We've actually got some lights, so we can just very quickly place them so we can see what's going on a little better. There we go. And over here. And we're also going to grab our foundations. That's what we're going to build off of. I have 200 to get us started. I think we should go this way. And then we'll also go this way. Ooh. How does that look? Okay, we can work with this. And then we'll have like a nice view. I say a nice view. We've got some rocks in the way. I don't know if we can get rid of them. But we do have our planters here. And if we run a line of belts in between. This can be... Oh, haven't we got two... Thinking about it. Don't we have like two different... Oh, interesting. The seeds need to come into here, but they don't need power. I want to just use the blue plants, so I'm going to go out and grab some more of those. And then we'll be right back. Let me just place down... ...these first and foremost. And I'll be back once I've got, firstly, more blue plants, but also once it's actually producing so that you can see what's actually going on. I thought I was being so clever by going with all blue plants. Um, thankfully, I haven't fully invested in them. Uh, but if you click on here, I don't know what this Silverthorn extract is, and though it allows me to pick it up, it is not fuel, or at least not for this. So, we're going to have to go back to the Kindle Vines and get them on the go here. I, s I have no idea what this does. If anyone knows, do let me know in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it. And here we are with our first little setup. You can see that we've got our planting section just here which is taking that kindle vine across to the threshers and though it's not running efficiently just yet i think we can add a few more uh, kindle vine planters to this it's just a little something we're running we've got six planters running into three threshers now the planters are providing all of the fuel and hopefully all of the seeds that we need in order to keep this running this is just the start we're going to need to focus on getting this fuel up and running so that we can start working on our miners and our smelters. I've also gone with these research uh, cubes at the back because I feel it gives it a nice bit of backlighting when you're further away and just brightens up the space. We are going to have to dig more out of this area and we're going to replace it all, um, all of the extra space with more of these foundations so that we can start building on here. Uh, you don't need to do this, I just think it looks cleaner and I'd rather start clean from the beginning. But the next thing that we need to do, providing this all runs efficiently, which let's be honest is a pretty big if at this stage, um, is for us to extend this so that we can build the smelter area and we do need to get some miners on the go as well which means we need to scout out some areas for our miners to get that iron ore and copper and I want to do it in this area so uh, let's go on a little exploration run. You can see our factory just running over there this is over by the um, the little Oh, what do you call this? The, the task man manager machine. Uh, well, just across from here, just the other side of here, you can see we've got our first iron node that we're going to be mining. So I'm going to use the 
mold just to dig this area out a little bit more so that we can start placing down our miners. I wonder if there's a way to get rid of this. Can we do that with these? Hmm. Got a feeling that's a no. Okay, first thing, let's get these placed down. I need some more uh, foundations. I'm just, I'm going through them like no tomorrow. We also need to work out how to feed these with fuel as well. This is going to quickly become a sprawling network, I think, of uh, Kindlevine. I want to keep this kind of neat. Hmm. I think we're going to need some kind of bridge. I think we're ready to build the bridge. It's, a, it's nothing special. When I say bridge, I do mean just a very, very basic bridge for the time being. Uh, but we're going to... I want two lines so that I can walk along one. And then the other line next to it will be for the actual um, uh, resources. And this is just going to go straight across. And then we'll also get this line all the way up here. And this will be transporting the iron ore to our factory just over there. If I've got this correct, we should just manage to pass through without either breaking through into the whole cavern or maybe just to have a little window maybe on the right would be nice but we'll uh, we'll see what happens we've got a little bit further to go but we are getting there oh there's a little oh, it's fine a little window is fine a bigger window is fine <laughs> so long as we don't open up out to it i'll probably dig this section out just so that we can see the resources going past but as you can see, we have now made it all the way through and I'm just running all of the iron. Hopefully, without too much issue, up there. And along to the area where we will be doing the smelter. I think we can go straight into the smelting area, which will be here. So another thing for me to dig out. So we'll be back in a short while. So as you can see, we have progressed a little bit. We have our first row of smelters here. Now along the right hand side here, we have what's going to be our iron smelters. In fact, they're already running more or less. Uh, unfortunately, they're saturated at the moment. I need to add some kind of storage unit just so that we can keep these running. And then on the left, we're going to have our copper. So we'll have copper and the iron all running down the middle um, to our next um, processing area. So the next thing that we need to do is to go out and find some copper. Now I believe I stumbled upon some over here but I'm not quite sure. And this is where we're going to be building our, well, mining our copper. I've just realized something. The iron, the other side of the map, hasn't got any fuel being fed to it. So either we have to keep going back and feeding these fuel which isn't too difficult, I guess, for the time being. Or we need to work out a way in which we can feed these. But for the time being, I just need to get these back to base. So we're going to grab them all and we're just gonna dig all our way through. Hopefully I can find our way back without too much difficulty. I actually really like the terrain manipulation tools here in Tectonica versus Satisfactory. Obviously we can't do this in Satisfactory, but the fact that we can do this and like hide all of our uh, conveyors, I really I think it's pretty cool. Something that I'm definitely going to be using in this. Also, this is the rock, which is the, the rock face. So by making a turn here, hopefully we'll be able to head over to the smelting area without too much difficulty or popping our heads through the side of the wall. And here we are by the looks of it back. Oh, we're, we're a little bit low, but we have made it back. So all's well and good there. Let's just grab these. I'm gonna need to build some more conveyors by the looks of it. Let's just get them on the go. Oh, maybe not. And here we are. We have the first of our copper on the way. And as you can see, our copper smeltery is finally starting to run. It's going to take a while to really get up to speed, 
but I am really happy with what we've managed to achieve so far. We're now storing the copper sheets, uh, the copper ingots, sorry, and the iron ingots. We've also got fuel being produced. All right, yes, we do need to still sort a way in which we can feed these the fuel that they need to run but I'm pretty happy with us just getting that smeltery on the go. Not to mention, of course, that we have worked out the automation of fuel, um, although we're not receiving that many seeds, so we may need to get more plant um, yeah, more planters on the go. But that shouldn't be too difficult. We can just extend it over this way. But we are going to leave it there, guys. If you did like this video, please do drop a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this, make sure to let me know. And uh, obviously, subscribe if you haven't already. Special thanks does go to all of our supporters, most notably our Solo Clips patrons, Cerebral Tag, James Owen, Fireflesh, and Jerry2, as well as our Lunas, The Calamity, Dixie Chris, and Ben, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Dashlom. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.